फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बैंक एग्जाम कैफे एंड इन टुडेज एपिसोड ऑन केस स्टडी बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस क्लास टेन सी बी एस ई एज पर द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एग्जामिनेशन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर क्वेश्चन एंड फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द पार्ट एटीन एंड प्रीवियसली वी हैव अपलोडेड सेवेंटीन पार्ट्स एंड द लिंक्स ऑफ ऑल दिस सेवेंटीन पार्ट्स आर प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स in the form of pdf and you can download that pdf and watch all the 17 parts so that you will get an idea that which type of questions will be asked as a case based case study based questions and how to deal with such questions also you can download the other study material from the description box so friends let us move to the question friends here is a question due to electricity problem in the area mr anil kumar had complained about the problem in the electricity department in the response to this complaint mr subhash singh an electrician attended the problem in order to climb on the pole the electrician put a ladder 9.5 meter away from the pole at an angle of 60 degrees as shown in the figure since there was a problem electricity problem in the area mr anil kumar lodged a complaint with the electricity department and in response to that complaint mr subhas singh attended the complaint and in order to climb the pole he placed the ladder along the pole making an angle of 60 degrees with the ground and which is 9.5 meter away from the pole so this distance is 9.5 meter and this angle is 60 degree and we have to answer the questions which are asked here so let us see the first question which is on the screen given problem is based on the concept of elevation and depression trigonometric ratios coordinate geometry or none of this it is not a coordinate geometry question it is not a question based on trigonometric ratios but it is based on the elevation and the depression because this is the angle of elevation and so he, this question is based on the angle of elevation and angle of depression so the last option is also incorrect so the option a is the correct option friends watch the complete video there will be questions if you skip you are going to miss definitely so second question is on the screen find the length of the ladder here we have to find the length of the ladder what is given this length is given the length or the distance between the foot of the ladder and the foot of the pole that distance is given and this angle is given so this distance will be called as the adjacent side and this will be called as the hypotenuse because this angle will be of 90 degree and since the adjacent side is given and we have to find the hypotenuse then we will use the cos ratio so cos 60 that is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse so it will be 9.5 is the adjacent side upon hypotenuse let that be x so which is x and so here cos 60 its value is 1 by 2 so it is 1 by 2 which is equal to 9.5 by x and therefore x is equal to multiply 9.5 by 2 and it will be 9 9s are 18 and 1 that will be 19 meter and therefore the correct option will be the b option that is 19 meter so the length of the ladder is equal to 19 meter now move to the next question if the foot of the ladder is moved away from the wall then the angle of elevation will be whether it will be remain same 60 degree whether it will be less than 60 degree whether it will be greater than 60 degree or none of these what is the question that if this foot of the ladder is moved away from the pole when this is moved away from the pole what will happen to this 
angle of elevation whether it will remain same or whether it will be less than 60 degree or whether it will be greater than 60 degree means it whether it will decrease or increase and none of these so friends when you go away from the object always remember the angle of elevation that decreases and when you become closer to the object here pole is the object then in that case the angle of elevation increases so if it is pulled towards the towards the pole then this angle of elevation will be greater than 60 degree because it will increase and when you will take this away from the pole then the angle of elevation will be decreased similarly this question can also be asked if this is brought down when you brought down this top here then definitely it will go away the question may be asked in this obvious also then if it is put down then whether this will be 60 degree less than 60 degree greater than 60 degree or none of this definitely when you put it down this will go away and this angle of elevation will get decreased so the second option b option is the correct option that is less than 60 degrees now move to the next question the angles of elevation and depression are always the angles of all the questions are simple based on the concept only the angles of elevation and depression are always acute obtuse right angles and none of these this is called as the angle of depression if someone is looking from the top and this is called as the angle of elevation and this angle will be always 90 degree because this is a right angle triangle so this is 90 degree therefore the angle of elevation and the angle of depression definitely that will be less than 90 degree it means both should be the acute angle so the angles of elevation and angles of depression will always be acute angle and therefore the a option will be the correct option remember this thing that the angles of elevation and depression will be always acute angle now move to the next question here is the question and that is for you please give the answer through the comment box the angle of dash of an object viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal whether the angle of depression, angle of elevation or both angle of elevation and angle of depression or none of these. Angle of elevation or angle of depression of an object viewed is the angle formed by a line of sight with the horizontal. So please answer this question through the comment box. So friends, here it was the fifth question and i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching this video